Okay. Okay. All right. The very first thing that I pen is always the transverse septum. It's easy to find because I look for the lateral line. All right. And then I can see right underneath, here's where the line is. So once I find transverse septum, I can divide the muscles into hypaxial, epaxial, and hypaxial muscles. Anything above transverse septum is going to be epaxial muscle. All right, so there's epaxial muscles. It's above transverse septum. Now I go below transverse septum, and that's the hypaxial. I can pin the hypaxial muscle. I could pin it here, or I could pin it here. As long as I'm below this, it doesn't matter where I pin it. Okay, so I'm just going to stick it here, just random. Okay, now the hypaxial muscles get divided into two different segments. I have one that's right here, and then I have the one that's ventrally located. The one that's on the side, think about on the side, are going to be the lateral myotomes. Okay, so I can only pin between my fingers. Okay, right through here is the lateral. Just anywhere? Mm -hmm. Anywhere, as long as it's between this area. Okay. okay. So I could pin up here, I could pin back here. Just in that area, though. Okay, now we know what <coughs> tummy is called. That's the ventral. So then all these muscles here are going to be the ventral bundles. Okay. So I just pin the belly. All right, now if you look really closely, you can see that there are white lines that are separating each of the muscles, and those are referred to as myosepta. Okay, septa separates. So I look right here, and I can pin it here. Now I could also pin the white lines up here too, right? But since I was there, I went ahead and pinned um, that myosepta, okay? So then this part is done. So then I move up, and I go to the pectoral fin. Okay, I have two muscles. I have one on top, one on bottom. The one on top, think about it, it's gonna raise it. So when you levitate, you're raised. So this is pectoral levator. Okay, so I just pin it right here. Call that levator, okay? Now if I wanna lower it, I'm gonna use this muscle, and this muscle is the pectoral depressor. I think when you depress, your shoulders are down like this, you're sad, cool, okay? It's a pectoral depressor. Okay, yeah. All right, so I just pin it right there. Okay. All right, then the next set are pretty easy because they're all constrictors. There's four constrictors. All right, I'm going to show them to you before I pin them because once I pin them, it gets a little hard. All right, see the muscles right above the gill slits? Okay. Those are going to be, again, dorsal side. So these are dorsal constrictors. Okay? The ones right on the gill slits are septal constrictors. And the ones right below complement the dorsal, but they're on the ventral side, so they're ventral constrictors. The ones right in front, right here, you go to the first gill slit and you go back, that's going to be the hyoid constrictor. So now I'll go ahead and pin those. Is right on top. Okay. I go to the gill slits. And I can pin any of the gill slits. And that's septal. Okay. And then I go below it. And these are ventral. Now most of that muscle's kind of been chewed up, so I just stuck it in there, okay? All right, so then I need the hyoid. I just go right in front of the first gill slit, and I'm gonna pin right there. So I go, boom, right there, okay? All right, now I'm gonna keep moving forward. I see the big cheek muscle, okay, the big circle. That's gonna be the adductor mandibulae. Think mandible is your lower jaw. So this muscle is responsible for closing the jaw. And I just pin that right there. Okay, while I'm there, I'm going to go below the eye. There's a muscle in below here. It's kind of hard to see. I can see it 
right in between there. That's called the pre-orbitalis. I think I orbit. Okay. And so as long as I go below the eye, I'm fine. See, I'm actually getting that muscle. It's a cylindrical muscle. Okay. So there's the pre-orbitalis. Okay, I'm going to go to the dorsal region. And I have three muscles up here. Okay, the first one I'm going to go to is going to be right above the dorsal constrictor. And that right here okay, is the cuccularis. Right here with my fingers in between here. All right, kind of makes a little bit of a triangle, I think, is the cuccularis. So I go ahead and I pin it right there. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to go to the spiracle. And I have two muscles. They're both levators. They're going to help raise the jaw. The one in front of the spiracle is going to be the levator palatoquadratic. So I just simply, you don't really have it exposed. I'm just going to put it right in front of. I'm not going to put it way out here. Just right in front of the spiracle. All right, so I have that levator. And now the second levator is right behind it. This pretty muscle right here is the levator hyomandibulae. Easy way to remember. All right, it's higher than the adductor mandibular mandibuli. Okay, it's higher than. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over to the ventral side. And there's three muscles, well, two muscles. Okay, the muscle right here has kind of been chewed up. It's called the intermandibularis. Okay. All right. And it's right here, intermandibularis. I kind of call it my neck muscle, even though it's not technically the neck, is it? All right. But it makes sense to me. All right. And then we have these two muscles right here. All right. Very distinct muscles. So those are the common orico archivalis. Okay. And then, then linea alba means white line. White line is found on the ventral where the myotomes meet. So see, I see the white line there. So I could pin here. I could also pin down here. It just depends on where you want to pin. Doesn't matter as long as it's on the white line. That's it, my friends.